This is episode 49 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. And like always, we're hoping you're just avoiding it because getting over it sucks. So today's episode is dealing with examples. Now, whether we like it or not, we are all examples. We're examples of good and we're examples of bad. And we are examples to people that we don't even realize we're being an example to. Friends, family, co-workers, strangers, acquaintances. People look at us and what we do and we are an example to them of either something you should do or something you should not do. Uh, James Altucher says that advice is autobiography. And I 100% agree with that. But advice is also biography. So you're not only telling your story, but you're telling the story of other people's stories. Things that you've seen, things that you've witnessed, things that you've experienced with people that you've grown up with, people you work with, all of that. So everybody is an example. Now, just to make this a little easier to kind of wrap your head around, we'll break it up into like the three main aspects of your life, home, work, and friendship. So at home, are you an example of what you should be or what you shouldn't be? Are you an example of the type of spouse that you want your kids to marry? Are you the example of the type of spouse you do not want your kids to marry? Are you an example to your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever your living situation is? Are you an example to them about how people should be treated, how you should talk to people, how you should care for somebody, what caring for somebody looks like? Those are the kind of things that we really need to think about because your kids are watching you. The same way you watch your parents, the same way your parents watch their parents. Because when you get older... You are going to take what you know and you're either going to copy it or you're going to go in the opposite direction. Or what I see sometimes, you say you're going in the opposite direction and you end up being just like the same thing, which is pretty common. But that's because we're not asking ourselves these tough questions. That's what life is. Life is about asking yourself tough questions um, and having the self-awareness enough to answer them honestly and correctly. Being honest with yourself is not easy, especially when you first start. When you first start being honest with yourself, it sucks because there's a whole bunch of crap that you've kind of let go that that you are unhappy with yourself about. But as you get better, as you start asking yourself these questions routinely, as you start living with more of a purpose, and that's what this whole episode is about, is being an example um, of good for people, which means living with a purpose, When you start doing all that, things get a lot easier because you are thinking ahead instead of having to react to things that you weren't thinking about, if that makes sense. So what type of person are you at home? What type of person are you at work? When they're giving trainings for new people at your work, are you the example that they give for the person that they should be like or that they shouldn't be like? Are you the first one in and the last one to leave? Or are you the last one in and the first one to leave? Are you lazy? Do you blame others when your team does terribly? Are you the type of person that builds your team up? Are you the type of person that brings your team down? Are you a plus or a minus on your team? Or are you just one of those people that just stays in the middle and doesn't do anything? They don't make the team better. Don't make the team worse. People barely know you're even there. Then you need to ask yourself, how did I let myself get to this point? How have I let myself not be a positive example for people at work? And to go back, how have I not let myself be a positive example for the type of of parent I want? This is all about 
making sure that you are the person that you think you are. Now, hopefully you don't have low standards because if you have low standards, then you probably are the person you think you are, but that's not a great thing. I'm hoping we all have high standards. We all want to be kick-ass at work. We all want to do a great job. We all want to be amazing parents. We all want to raise our kids and give them everything that we didn't have both psychologically and materialistically. We want to be able to, to be that. We want to be the best spouse or the best partner or the best boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever that we can be for our better half or our worst half, you know, sometimes. But you are the one that decides the example that, that you are. And I think that the que- this question is what type of example are you is the perfect one to get you to really think about where you are. Because a lot of us just kind of get into routines and we get into like little positions and we do, we kind of just go along, go with the flow and this is who I am and this is what it's going to be like and blah, 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 blah. There's nothing today that has to be the same way tomorrow. Now, in a healthy outlook on this, that means everything that you want to change can be changed. Nothing that you're doing or that you've done ever has to be done again. And that should feel pretty good. Every new day is a brand new day. One of my favorite uh, holidays is New Year's. Why? Because whatever you didn't like about the year before, you can do completely differently the next year. You can change everything. You can be a new person. And that goes same thing day to day. When you wake up in the morning, you go, I'm going to be this type of parent. I'm going to be this type of partner. I'm going to be this type of employee or boss or whatever your position is. And then friendship. I'm going to be this type of friend. I want to be the type of person that people can look to for help, that people can say, hey, I know this XYZ person. They're fantastic. They're smart. They're caring. They don't keep track of stuff. They have they have a great group of friends. They're, you want to be that person. You want to be the example of positive. You want to be the example of how things should be in all aspects of your life. Like I find it really sad when people are maybe really successful at business and they have a crappy home life. Like that's sad. You should be the example at work and at home. Because really home is where you're, I mean, you're going to have an impact financially on people and there's some people that you could help out at work. But really, if you're not taking care of your home, if you're not handling your home duties as a, as a mother or a father or, or a partner, what are you doing? That's like number one. That's like being healthy. That's like you got to take care of number one before you can handle number two. You got to take care of what's going on at home before you can handle anything else. And a lot of people, times people will not be not have that perspective, not have that purpose at home, and they use work or they use friends or they use something else to kind of mask that. Well, I'm focusing on this right now. I don't need to focus focus on that. Or I don't have time to focus on this because I'm focusing on this. And you come up with excuses for why this is important and how this will benefit this and the, all that stuff. But really look, down, really look at the individual situations. Really look at really how you are at work how people view you, what would people say about you, how you are at home, what would your kids say to you if they knew that you'd never hear what they were going to say. And on a side note, in all these situations, but more importantly at home, I want you to really think about what your kids and your partner, wife, husband, whatever, think about you. What do you think they think about you? Now, this is going to affect a a percentage of you, probably about 50% of you. Hopefully not more, but maybe more. Now, take what your partner or your kids think about you. Now, what if they knew everything about you? Because a lot of times, people think they're good this or good that, but really what it is, is what people know is good. Now, what about the stuff that people don't know? Now, if you're not a person that keeps secrets, God bless you. That's, um, that's exactly where you want to be. If you were like me, you used to keep secrets. And they will eat you from the inside out. And then they will usually get to the outside and go from the outside in. So really think about who you are as a whole. Secrets, no secrets. In the dark, in the light. If they knew everything about you, what would they think then? Because that is a really important question to ask yourself. Because a lot of us go, what they don't know 
won't hurt them, which is a bunch of because everything affects everything, affects everything, affects everything. And if you don't think that, your life is probably slowly crumbling from the outside in. And you need to cut that off right away. So whatever it is that they don't know, either stop doing it or what I suggest, tell them. And then you can deal with it honestly with your partner, with your family, because that's the real that's a really good way to really get it handled is let everybody know, deal with the BS you got to deal with, but then handle it effectively and accordingly. And like I said, this is this whole thing is about purpose. It's about waking up in the morning and having a purpose, not a single purpose, but purpose in each facet of your life when you wake up be the partner that you want your partner to be to you be the parent that you would want be the parent that your kids can look at and go that is exactly the type of parent I want to be when you go into work be the worker that you want to be if you were your boss you would want you on every single team for every single project that he does if you're a boss be the boss that employees are excited to come in and work for that they love coming to work it's such a great environment be the type of friend that that you want be the type of friend that's always there for for their friends that they can always count on that doesn't keep track of who does what for who and just and just cares and just loves unconditionally be purposeful with your actions be the example that people want to be Don't be the example of how not to be something or how not to do something. That's an awful place to be. But you have to start by asking yourself that tough question. What do people think I am? What am I an example of? And then go from there. But be honest with yourself. And please don't settle. Please don't settle. Because it can change tomorrow if you want it. But you have to recognize it first before you can move forward. And you have to ask yourself those tough questions before you can recognize it, before you can move forward. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or evening or whenever you are catching this. We are we're still looking for some people to share their stories. I know you guys are shy. I'm talking with some of you, trying to talk you into doing it. But it's an important thing to do. It's an important thing to share. There are people out there that are dying for someone who's going through the same thing they're going through to show them either there's other people going through it or it's better on the other end. And they'll never know that if you don't speak up. So please get the courage together. Reach out and speak up. Hit me up on Snapchat, on Twitter. You can comment in the sections below. Subscribe if you're on SoundCloud. If you're on iTunes, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe, share with your friends, share with people you think that this could help and ask them, hey, you have a great story. Do you want to go on this podcast and this vlog and, and, and share your story with people? There are people out there that are dying for somebody else to share their story with them. You can be that person. It's up to you. I'll talk to you soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just let go. Just let go. Just let go.